Alrighty, so we're going to play another set of geared PvP matches because of the rule. If you're not aware, there is a geared rule right now where it is Fellowship increases basic stats by 20% when all allies in the battle have the same characteristics. So we're going to be going for Ragnarok. I... I originally, in the last video, we did like a collab human team. Didn't really go very well, which it was kind of a meme anyway. I wanted to do a collab unknown team, and I just tried to do it. And it just doesn't really work out, unfortunately. I think the problem that I have with these rules is that they cater too much to some of the main, like pvp teams that are already meta so for example the ragnarok team is at the top of the meta right now and the sins team is also at the top of the meta right now so the problem that you run into is these really crazy teams that are already really good in the meta are now getting stat boosted and making it even worse so you can't really run variety because they're already top so it's just wow um, I don't know. It's just really annoying, I think, more than anything. I really wanted to have some fun with this PvP rule, but you're basically going to be locked into using the same crap you've already been using. So, uh, sorry to start off with such a maybe negative tone, but uh, either way, <laughs> we are already in quite the pickle here. So, let's go for maybe this into this. We do have one turn. I'm going to rank up the melee cards here, unfortunately. Ooh, okay, pretty good damage there. Uh, God, three melee cards are gold now. That's definitely on me, though. I mean, I chose to do AoEs, but we needed to get maybe some life back on the tier anyway. Um, probably not going to go super well, but I don't know. You can see where my like problem is with the, with the meta at the moment. It's just kind of annoying more than anything. Ah, man. Okay, well, that happens too. Alright, we... He got his ultimate as well, because that was two gold cards. The fact that he has the whole, like, you know, um... Gains... Whatchamacallit? Gains, um... Ultimate move gauge at higher levels, and you rank up his cards, is still, to this day... A, a, just a crazy, crazy combo. So, so, so good. Alright, hopefully this kills. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I, I really don't know what to tell you about that. He's got another stance and everything. Wow. <laughs> Holy God. Alright, PvP just does not want to uh, want me to have any fun right now. Alright, we have another Sins team. Very typical, very typical. Not anything super crazy CC-wise. Unfortunate that I don't get the stance cancel here, turn one, but I guess it is what it is. I think this is a bot, so this is probably a DN attack. Okay, I'll take it, I guess. I mean, man, it just, it's just so lame. I need to win some matches because I need to get closer to top of PvP for the week, but man, it just it's just so boring to run these kind of teams over and over again it really is it's just like i don't i don't know i'm as a as a guy who does youtube and i have every character in the game except for like the top pvp team or the top yeah pvp uh like exclusive units i want to run some of these like other characters that i have but i feel like i can't because i'm forced into running the meta which is very boring so really really hope that they make some new stat boosters or something for some of these other teams that'd be fantastic like if we could get some fairies if we could get some giants if we could get angels archangels would be nice too my l is still really cool and kind of fun from time to time I don't know, it'd be nice to be able to, you know, throw an Archangel team out there, but uh, they just they just don't want it. They, uh, I mean, I have to say, I can't really complain too much. It literally was just demons for, like, forever. It was demons for quite a while. So, it could definitely be worse, but, um, like, the meta's actually halfway decently diverse at the moment, but the the PvP rule is what I'm, I'm having issues with, you know, so... I guess it just is what it is. I mean, they don't do PvP seasons too often for, like, the top 100 stuff, so I, I need to just, you know, kind of grip my teeth and, you know, just move on and not worry about it, really. But, uh, I don't know. It's just having a whole game mode kind of, like, ruined for, like, two weeks just for, you know, the PvP season is uh, a bit annoying. And, I mean, I like the concept of rules. Rules could be really fun, 
but they just they come up with these really bad rules like they typically try to make it cater to like the newest character out which is obviously hell at the moment but if they would make it to where older units or something like that would get better like like stats or something like they've done in the past they did a pvp rule where if you ran i think it was rare and sr characters you got like a huge stat boost which was really cool and interesting but they don't do fun rules too often all righty we have another hell team here mm, okay he has pretty good cc uh i can only imagine he's running cc food i'm not a hundred percent sure on that but we'll see how it goes um Using a tier card first thing, two tier cards first thing. Okay. He's gonna put a lot of stacks on himself. Okay, it's a, two two single targets. That's actually doing a lot of damage. Wow. <laughs> All right then. Uh, I really have zero words for that. That's actually insane and now i don't have the 20 percent stat boost boy this is fun um I, I don't know what to say man all right no evasion food which i didn't figure it was decent damage there okay we do kill him off i assume he's got nanashi in the back as well i should have known because the buffs on the back or on the on the team so, he's lost his 20% stat buff now. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is just... I don't know. Is this fun to anyone? Like, is it? Like, is, is running the Sins team that you've been running for months? And then, you know... I mean, I know that Hell is kind of new, so that's why I chose to kind of run her. But even then, she's been out for two weeks at this point. And, I mean, it's... I, I can understand using the, the newest unit. That's That's understandable, but... I don't know, it just I don't know. I want I want variety. I love variety. Variety is the spice of life and it makes it a lot more fun. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just uh like I said, maybe I'm just nitpicking a bit, but I am hoping that this will kill and then that'll go on to Freyer maybe. Okay, that was actually kind of close almost no crits cool and then all right went on to nanashi freyer is actually kind of a threat like freyer can do some pretty crazy damage sometimes so ah oh, that would have gave me my ultimate too i guess i should have targeted but i didn't want to, just in case that didn't kill i uh i wanted to be very sure i guess but now he's got Nanashi buffs, which is going to make him a little bit more annoying to kill. He's probably going to attack twice with him, if I had to guess. And if Hell lives, which is probably not... Okay, never mind. He went for the wrong character. Never mind. It doesn't really matter. I think we've pretty much won because of that. He's going to put stacks on himself now. Okay. I was starting to think it was a bot, but that was just a really weird last-ditch play. I'm not too sure on that one, to be honest with you. All right, we have another Sins team. I guess on the upside, it it is kind of nice that LR Escanor isn't able to be ran with the uh, with the boost. Like I guess you could, but you obviously wouldn't be able to run a full humans team, which does kind of hurt him quite a bit. So um, yeah, it ends up being one of those weird things. Um, but yeah, I um. I don't know. I'm not uh, not too sure. Because if he got the 20% stat boost, like, woo-wee, you'd be in for some trouble. That man would be one-shotting left and right, which he already kind of does. So it'd be pretty nuts, I think, which would be kind of crazy to think about. Um, here's... Uh, the, the problem with Freyr is that he has to have a level 2 for stance cancel. And the fact that the fact that Ghislaine has a level one stance cancel is insanely good. I kind of wish his. Well, I mean, it's. I don't know. I guess it is what it is. I kind of wish that they could change that, or like the Holy Relic could have maybe fixed it, but I don't think that that's really an option, unfortunately. Um. Well, I mean, what are you gonna do about that <laughs> kind of thing? I mean. 
that is the part that kind of sucks about Lost Vein is that it's so easy to just win. <laughs> like, push for ult with him, I guess. Like, obviously you can shut him down, but I don't have nearly enough uh, AoE potential here to be able to kill. So, uh, yeah, it just takes so long to get through the Yan without a stance cancel that it, you basically just have time to kind of do whatever you need to do, which uh, really sucks sometimes. Mm, am I even going to kill Deanne here? No crits, my man? Brother. Brother. Oh, lord. Alright. Well, he didn't stance first, I guess, so that's good. Okay, she somehow lived. Okay, pops my res. I he used a third card. He did not use a third card, surprisingly. Um, I really need to get rid of Deanne before she puts a taunt back up. This is gonna rank up Lost Fane's cards, unfortunately. So that sucks a lot. Uh, do I stand a chance? I don't think I do. He would have to kill Nanashi first for me to get another res, and I don't think that's going to happen. If I somehow do survive, which I... I do see a lot of people put the Tarmia Link on their hell, which I think is a pretty smart plan, but... I don't know. I think tier... Well, I... I don't know. It's not the worst option, because, I mean, tier... You want Tier to be lower HP. So, I don't know. I think he single targets me here. Yeah. Okay. I was actually, dude, surprisingly very tanky there. But, oh well. Alright, we have another Hell Team. Pretty much an instant load in, too. So, I'm assuming this is a bot. Um. Need to start. I'm really bad about the Tarmia Link thing still. Let's go for... This maybe not a hundred percent sure we can kill tier here, but we'll go for it. Ah, uh, probably should have went for the single target. Okay. Okay. Kind of surprising there. Um. Yeah. The the three stacks on tier was definitely maybe not a great move, but. We did put some good damage out on these two, which is really nice, because these are going to be our new threats anyway, so... He will put stacks on his hell if he AoEs. He's going to push for ultimate, though. Okay. I feel bad about that. I feel so bad about that. Oh, my God. It's, re it's really fun. Funny, but it's really bad. All right, one six. That's gonna do nothing to me, basically. So, uh, or well, I mean, it'll probably do something. But if you if you know me, I'm not a big fan of the hell single or hell ultimate too much. So <laughs> that that evasion was just too funny for me, man. All right. I guess I should have maybe used this to kill the the hell there, which I don't, I don't know. I wasn't sure if it was gonna kill or not, but. Uh, I don't know. I might. I may just try to sit and champ one this week. Okay. Surprisingly, a demon team. Um, unfortunately, the demon team does not get the uh, the rule, so we should actually do quite a bit of damage to him. Um, okay, it's probably a bot either way, so not really that big of a deal. Okay, boom. Yeah. The thing is with um, with this team. I think the rule is for, I mean, because it's for characteristics, the only rule that applies to demons is uh, commandments. And none of these characters have commandments on. So, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the true magic is a little scary. He's probably going to lifesteal a decent bit back here, if I had to guess. The basic stats are really giving us a lot of HP, though. Okay. He is, dude, he has so much lifesteal, actually. Okay, luckily he gets uh, obliterated because of that, though. Um, let's go for this, maybe? 
I think this might actually kill Melly. Nice. Okay. That's big for me. And then this should kill him. Even with your Nanashi buff. I've seen more people running Nanashi on the demon team lately. And it's just so bizarre to me. Because I... I don't know. Like, I get it. I understand it. But I just... I'm As a person who really only likes using Nanashi on the unknown team. Because of all the stats and everything. Um, I feel like his regular passive... Like, people didn't used to use Nanashi for his passive. So, like, why start now kind of thing? Because you're not getting the tank... Like, the, the crazy... Or well, I mean, you get some defense-related stats, of course, but you're not getting a lot of the uh, the stat heft that you would from his Holy Relic, so it's not really worth it, in my opinion. Wow, okay. 1,200, 12, or 1.2 million, not 1,200. Um, okay, well, I'm back to Champ 1. I'll be honest, I think I'm done with PvP for the week. I just... I'm already in Champ 1 for Geared, and that's where most of uh, most of it matters anyway, because that's where the gems come from. And I'm basically just getting PvP coins and gold from Geared PvP anyway. I'm I'm just... I'm over it. I just... The, the, the PvP rules, man, the, the, most of them are not fun. They're just not worth, like, fooling around with. And it's, it's funny, too, because I feel like most of the really high-tier players should be doing Top 100 as well. But, um, I don't know. At this point in the week, they might even be done with top 100 matches by now and they're just playing yeah i don't know challenger or something like that who knows but either way that's pretty much it let me know your thoughts and opinions on the pvp rules of course and uh i don't know if you have any ideas for videos or anything let me know um not too sure what i'm gonna do for sunday yet but uh we'll try to come up with something but either way thanks for watching feel free to subscribe if you haven't already i will see you in the next one